I've taught band at Mancus High School for 31 years. In 1967, my first fall at Mancus, our band placed first at the Fort Lewis College Marching Contest. Drum major Steve Decker proudly accepted the trophy in his 15-inch high rabbit fur hat. Previous to the establishment of the CBA, Colorado Bandmasters Association in 1980, the competitions were limited to parades only. In the mid-1980s, the band began to grow and participate at the regional and state levels in field show competition. Even though I have always thought of myself as very strong in the area of marching, my high school band was a marching machine, winning many competitions and placing seventh in the nation in 1962, the success of the Jays didn't really soar until the 1990s. The band developed into a competitive marching unit and placed fifth at state in 1993, second in 1994, and received their first People's Choice Award in 94 also. Finally, in 95, the Jays earned their first 1A2A Colorado State Championship and once again received the People's Choice Award. A patriotic theme in 1996 inspired another first place finish, a third People's Choice Award, Best Drum Major, Color Guard and Percussion, and other Caption Awards. In 1997, with Spy vs. Spy as a theme, the Jays marched to a third straight state championship, a fourth People's Choice Award, another Best Color Guard, and Captain Awards for high music and high general effect. Positive parental involvement, coupled with the Mancus School District and community support, has been instrumental in the success of this band. From the beginning of the 90s, Geese became our motivation and to strive for success. As with Geese, people are interdependent on each other's skills, capabilities, and unique arrangements of gifts, talents, or resources. These Geese flying in formation honk to encourage those in front to keep up their speed. We need to make sure our honking is encouraging. In groups where there is encouragement, the production is much greater. The power of encouragement to stand by one's heart of core values and encourage the heart and core of others is the quality of honking that we see. If we have as much sense as geese, we will stand by each other in difficult times as well as when we are strong. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mancos High School Blue Jay Marching Band. She was like one of the major proponents of women's sports. You yes. know, like you were talking about her coaching and getting thrown into stuff. And when I was looking through pictures, she's like the assistant coach for every sport that it was. Yeah. But yeah. when she and came to Mancus, there wasn't even girl sports. Between band and choir and Greek mythology for a brief period of time and whatever else they asked her to teach, she touched almost every kid at every level. So, you know, she was our confidant and she was who we took all of our personal problems to. And yeah, that office where there was a lot, lot of tears shed in that office over the course of my middle school career, I can tell you that. The partnership with Janie and Mona was the fifth graders starting to come down and play with the high school. So we would leave Mancus Elementary and go walk over there and get to play with the middle school and the high school at fifth grade. It, that is what really, I think, started things. I think that's really what propelled the, the music program forward was that ability to get kids engaged and inspired starting in fifth grade. You felt safe with her. She had your back. Life just worked if you did what you were supposed to do and you followed her rules and you followed her directions because then you could have fun and then you could do all the fun things and go on the trips. The whole school was on board. And even though she had like, the band room was down at the bottom, kind of in the dungeon, like the Mancus school heartbeat was from that classroom. As we were at the state basketball finals at Pueblo and the band was so loud in that arena that there was an article the next day in the Pueblo Chieftain about the band and not about the basketball tournament, about how awesome the band was and how great the sound was in there. And I think she just like beamed with pride over stuff like that. And so it just built this huge sense of like community and like 
everybody was working towards this main goal and we finally achieved it under her. We weren't band geeks, we were state champs and we were the first state champs our high school ever got to have. I think she would just be floored and amazed that all these years later, people remember her and people want to, you know, remember that time in our lives and that time that she got to accomplish what she worked so hard for.